Hi everyone, I am Santosha, working as a Chief Clinical Nutritionist in Medgar Hospitals. Today, we are going to talk about Vitamin D. First of all, what is Vitamin D? Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. It is helps to body absorb calcium and phosphorus. It is stored in your body's fatty tissue. And Vitamin D has two main forms that is vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. Having right amount of vitamin D, calcium and phosphorus is important for a building and keeping strong bones and teeth. Vitamin D is used to treat and prevent bones disorder such as rickets in children, osteomalacia in adults. Vitamin D is made by when skin is exposed to sunlight. Vitamin D drops and other supplements are given to breastfed infants. Because breast milk has usually low amounts of vitamin D. And how to use vitamin D? Vitamin D can take by mouth as your doctor advised. Your dosage based on your medical condition. That is amount of sun exposure, diet, age and how your body responds to treatment. If your doctor recommended to you follow a special diet such as diet in high calcium. It is very important to follow the diet to get more benefits from this medication and to prevent serious side effects. Now we are going to discuss about sources of vitamin D. A few foods naturally rich in vitamin D. The best sources are fatty fish and fi fish liver oils. Smaller amounts are found in egg yolks, fish and fatty liver. Certain mushrooms contains vitamin D. Some commercially sold mushrooms contains higher amounts of vitamin D. Some many foods and supplements are fortified with vitamin D like dairy products, and cereals. The other sources are animal sources of vitamin D, cod liver, salmon fish, sword fish, etc. Orange juice fortified with the vitamin D, dairy products, dairy products fortified vitamin D, and other cereals also fortified with the vitamin D. And vitamin D deficiency. Getting enough, enough amount helping to keep your health keep you healthy by protecting against following these conditions and helping to treat them. These conditions can include heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, infections and immune system disorders. Some types of cancers such as colon, uh, prostate cancer and breast cancer etc. People who cannot tolerate or do not eat en enough amount of milk, egg, fish, and also those with glucose intolerance are who follows the vegan diet are at high risk for the deficiency. Other people at high risk of vitamin D deficiency, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis etc. People who are obese tend to, tend to have lower blood vitamin D levels. Vitamin D accumulates in excess fatty tissue but it is not easily available for use by the body when needed. Vitamin D toxicity occurs from, occurs from taking supplements. The low amount of vitamin D found in foods are unlikely to reach toxic levels. High amount of uh, vitamin D High amount of sun exposure does not lead to toxicity. Symptoms of toxicity, weight loss, irregular heartbeat, anorexia, etc.